1992, you postulated the uh, chronology protection conjecture, which is a long title for something whose basically the result was whatever way we can do time travel, if at all, we can't go backwards. Now, obviously, in doing that, you ruined the Terminator movies. So, you know, thanks for that. But even allowing you that, do you think there's any, and if you excuse the pun, future for time travel? Will we be able to use black holes, for example, to travel through time? I have not been back to the future. I still believe time travel to the past is not possible for macroscopic objects. If you jump in a black hole, you will meet an unpleasant fate. It will be little consolation that your mass energy will be recycled as Hawking radiation. Yes, I can't say that it'll be of no consolation at all. To ask a supplementary question, you can't pass a macroscopic object, so I don't understand why that means I can't go, go, go backwards in time, but could light, and could you use it to send a message, for example? You can't send a message back in time. Fair enough. It's a pity that now because I could have told myself not to ask that stupid question. All science fiction is dead. Thank you, Stephen Hawking. Of course, one of the great dreams that people have who love science and love space is the thought of traveling to, to distant planets. But the distances are huge. The journey time will be so long. The, the dangers from cosmic radiation are so strong. Do you think humanity will ever find its way to other solar systems. The present breed of humans won't reach the stars. The distances are too great and life too short, even with time dilation, not to mention the radiation exposure. The only possibilities would be to genetically engineer humans or send machines. That's tough news. Tough news for a lot of dreamers, that one. But they have to hear it. Where are you now, Stephen, on the whole issue of God? And indeed, how do you feel if this, say, implies the absence of an afterlife? I find the scientific account of the origin of the universe in the hot Big Bang much more credible than the seven days of Genesis. I think the afterlife is a fairy story for people afraid of the dark. You don't pull your punches, you know that? <laughs>